Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'm going to talk about something I've been asked rather previously. I've been asked to explain why uh, eggs are not necessarily bad for the bodybuilder. In particular, I wanted to address this issue with reference to Vince Garanda's claim that three dozen eggs a day is as good as a Dianabol cycle. Now, um, being a scientist, it helps that I can actually research the study on eggs and that's what I uh, present to you today and I do actually uh, believe that having a small cycle of such a diet of three dozen eggs a day can be as good or better than steroids. So let's have a look at cholesterol firstly. A lot of people don't understand that cholesterol is necessary for humans. Uh, for example, are you aware that your brain and your central nervous system, that is your spine, and your nerves need cholesterol. Without cholesterol, you would not survive because without your brain and your nervous system working, your body just shuts down. The body naturally produces 1,000 milligrams of cholesterol per day at least. That's a gram, a whole gram. Now consider that one little egg only contains 200 mg of cholesterol. This is why it's common knowledge that you can have half a dozen eggs without any issue because if you don't ingest it in your diet, your body will produce it anyway, right? And this is why, um, for example, I have no problem having half a dozen up to a dozen eggs a day because I know that my body needs it. Let's have a look at more of the science on cholesterol now. Now, cholesterol. A lot of people say cholesterol is bad for you. Let's check your cholesterol in your blood. La -di -da -di -da. What does this all mean? Well, I'll tell you what it, what it actually means. It doesn't really matter how much total cholesterol you have in your blood. I mean, it matters, but that is not really as important as the type of cholesterol that is present in your blood. There are two main types. Low density lipoprotein, LDL is one type, and high density lipoprotein is the other type. Depending on which one of these is higher, you will be told that your cholesterol is bad or your cholesterol is good. Let me break it down. If you have high LDL, that is bad because LDL L or low density lipoprotein leaches cholesterol out into your, into your arteries, especially as shown in this diagram here. You can see that the red which represents the red circle represents the LDL, the bad cholesterol. It releases cholesterol and this of course can stick onto your arteries and lead to cardiovascular disease. That's, that's a really bad thing. However, if your blood results come back and your HDL is high, that's great because HDL is the good one. This is the good type. What it actually does is it's, it picks it all up, it gathers it together, um, all, the, all the cholesterol and takes it out of your body. So this is why some people don't really understand the uh, complexity of cholesterol. Um, it's, it's a lot more than what you think. Don't think it is bad or good. You really need to understand how this all works. Now let's see how eggs affect the uh, HDL and LDL levels. And by the way, the, the best way to find this information out, your cholesterol levels of HDL and LDL, is to go to the doctor and get a blood sample. They will figure out your ratio. If your HDL level is higher than your LDL, that's great because that means that the unnecessary cholesterol that's floating around your body will simply be taken out. Okay, the science on cholesterol in eggs. It is well known, if you look at the literature, just like I've done recently, that eating eggs does not increase the bad LDL cholesterol in healthy people. That is, if you're a gym goer, you're, you know, and, and you're eating healthy, you know, you're not necessarily on a diet, but you're eating well, you're actively fit, you go to the doctor, he goes, yeah, your blood work is great, you've got nothing to worry about. Eggs will not increase the bad LDL in this type of uh, population of people, in healthy people. I'll tell you the why. It's because eggs contain both HDL and LDL. Therefore, the net effect, and net, by net I mean the overall effect on the human body, is, 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 um, is zero. 
because you will be eating just as much HDL, that is the good cholesterol, and just as much LDL. And so if this cholesterol is not used in the body, that excess HDL simply removes the bad LDL and takes it out. There is no net effect and it has been shown in many studies that having high amounts of eggs up to six a day like I do has no net effect. I've had my blood work taken for years. I've actually eaten half a dozen eggs for the last 25 years and my blood work has always been perfect. It just goes to show. LDL is actually increased in people with high blood lipids and those with high blood lipids are usually overweight people who over who basically overeat and it is also shown to basically in obese or overweight people LDLs also increase in in people with a very high carbohydrate diet and of course that don't exercise that's where LDL is is increased now for these people that are unhealthy if you have if these people have eggs they're in trouble then their cholesterol can go from a good profile to a, or well it's already bad to a really worse profile where their LDL is through the roof and then they are at a higher risk of cardiovascular disease continuing on the science on cholesterol in in healthy people as i mentioned eggs have never i'll repeat this in healthy people eggs have never been associated with cardiovascular disease or diabetes or other metabolic syndromes. These are all a group of, of diseases. They're called metabolic syndrome. Um, they've never been associated. So get that off your head. If you are healthy, you can eat eggs to your, heart con to your heart's content, literally, uh, uh, you know, pardon the pun, but you can. It is not going to be bad for you. You can eat, it has, has been shown, up to six eggs per day, half a dozen, with little to no effect on your blood profile. If you're healthy, don't be afraid to eat eggs. I actually have, have the eggs raw every day, by the way. Now, let's get on to Vince Garonda. Why and how did Vince Garonda think about this or, or, or stumble upon the idea of using three dozen eggs a day? I'll tell you how. He probably read this... Uh, um, article on the British Journal of Plastic Surgery. I did some major research on this and found the original article from 1975. 1975. Now, Vince Garonda was obviously alive back then and he was the, the iron guru back then as well. He must have read this. 35 eggs per day in the treatment of severe burns. I know I've read in, in an article on Vince talking about how he read an article how three dozen eggs a day were, were given to Burns patient. And I started doing my research on, 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 on the medical journals and I found the paper from 1975. So this leads us to, to uh, ask, what is it that this article, you know, gave uh, Gironda, the I uh, Gironda, I should say, Vince Gironda, the idea of using this for bodybuilding? Let's have a look. Well, Yes, it is discussed. Cholesterol is discussed in this particular article. Have a read. The egg diet certainly represents a significant cholesterol load. An egg contains between 250, 500, milligrams, um, 550 milligrams of cholesterol. And thus our patients can have over 7,000 milligrams of cholesterol per day. But contrary, contrary to expectations, the serum cholesterol and lipoprotein levels remained normal throughout the period of study. Understand this, that these patients, I mean, they are, they are severe burn patients, but they are patients, having three dozen eggs a day, three dozen eggs a day, it did not affect the cholesterol levels or their, um, or their, otherwise their blood work. Understand this. If you get on the three dozen eggs a day diet, it will not uh, neg it will not be a negative effect on your body. It would not affect you in a bad way. What is the I guess the the advantage of being on the three dozen an egg three dozen eggs a, uh, a day diet? Let me uh, sum it up with one sentence: positive nitrogen balance. 
Each egg contains six grams of protein, therefore three dozen will give you more than 200 grams a day. And according to uh, medical specialists, to maintain a positive uh, nitrogen balance, especially for a burns patient, you need at least three grams per kilogram of body weight. Three grams per kilogram of body weight. Now I know in bodybuilding it is recommended that we have at least two grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, but for these burns patient vi uh, victims, they need three grams. And, and I mean, Vince did say that one could almost have even up to 10 grams of protein in some cases per kilogram of body weight. And so the assimilation of three dozens of eggs is much easier than to have than, I don't know, 10 steaks a day. I mean, that's just crazy. The bulk of the food is too much with a, with a steak or a chicken or fish, whereas three dozen eggs is rather easy. But there is more. There is more to the egg. Let's have a look. Now, if you're looking as scrawny as Arnold, you will want to have 36 eggs because it is basically like a dianabol cycle. Not only do you get no bad effects from the cholesterol, not only do you get a positive nitrogen balance, which is absolutely required for bodybuilding, but little do people know that eggs themselves contain a profile of androgenic substances, that is, steroids. They contain testosterone. They contain other androgens like DHEA and, and others, I forget. Um, they contain a whole panel of steroids. It's like going on a multi-cycle. Because although one egg contains a small amount, this amount is enough to allow the the embryo to grow to a full uh, to to a to a full little chick, right? It it, it allows the the um, the em the the yolk basically allows the chick to develop inside and, and basically come out, right? That's what these these uh, androgenic um, uh, steroids are for. They are for growth, right? It allows the, the animal to grow. Now having 36 of these will obviously allow a human to grow. It is like being on a huge steroid cycle. Vince Garanda recommended that this cycle be performed only in a short period of time, just like a steroid cycle, for six to eight weeks only, and then to drop your consumption of eggs to one or two a day. Now not only do eggs contain all these androgenic compounds, but they also contain obviously a crap load of cholesterol. The cholesterol can be used by a bodybuilder. How? Because when you are training, let's say you're doing 20 rep squats followed by, you know, you're doing a full body training program followed by deadlifts the next day and, uh, and you know, some major bench pressing uh, on the same day. All compound exercises. All these compound exercises raise your growth hormone and testosterone naturally without extra consumption of of foods now in order to for the body to to actually create this testosterone from exercise from the stimulus of exercise it requires the building blocks the building blocks guess what are cholesterol so not only does egg give you an androgenic uh, steroid like cycle but on top of that it's got up to 7000 milligrams of cholesterol it's got a magic pool of building blocks that allows your own body to also produce more testosterone and more androgenic compounds. Hooray for eggs. Eggs are fantastic. It's a double it's a double shot. You get it's like having, you know, several cycles going on at the same time. Therefore, Vince said it is excellent for muscle growth and even more excellent and especially good for bodybuilders that have a muscle plateau they can't grow anymore if you want to break this muscle plateau if you want to break this growth plateau you can't get your squat up you can't get your bench up you're at 90 kilograms and you want to put another 5 to 10 kg get on the 36 eggs a day diet i hope that if you started off looking as scrawny as arnold did in the previous slide that after the 36 egg diet you can look as massive and voluminous and exp you know, I mean, look at Arnold. He's freaking enormous here. I mean, he's got boobs for a chest, for God's sake. Those arms are tree trunks. No wonder he was called the oak. 
unbelievable. When Vin, Vin, when Vince saw Arnold, he said he was an a uh, I think he said he was an untapped reservoir of muscle. Look at him. He's enormous. He probably did the 36 eggs a day. I'm pretty sure he did actually. I've seen a photo of Arnold with a tower and I repeat, a tower of egg trays next to him. I'm pretty sure he did it. Hell, he probably did it for five years straight to bulk up. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave me your comments. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.